Hello everybody, it's day 12 of my video journal, so it's Friday the 12th of Jan 2024, and tonight I thought, well first of all I'm doing well, feeling good, feeling positive, so mood's alright, diet's going okay, feeling healthy, struggling a little bit with just more boredom than anything on the diet, not in my life, um, but... So let's get that out of the way. So yeah, having a pretty good day. I thought maybe today I would talk about why I call the channel Fake Smart Guy. Because this all came from the fact that I was just going to have it under my name. And I thought that was really boring. Because my name's David Brown. That's no secret. And David Brown is like the most generic name in the world. And I've messed around with several different iterations of this and trying to figure out I never knew I knew I wanted to do something with my YouTube channel but I never knew what it was and I'm still not sure that that I want to use this name moving forward I think I might switch so we're going to talk about that now I had an idea that I want to do so I I do podcast the around AI, so the creatives with AI, and I have an agency in my media company, and we do all the podcasting and stuff around that. But I kind of want to have my own personal podcast because there's some things that I want to talk about that aren't AI related, and it the way I sort of think about it is that it's like it's like your crazy Uncle Dave who just goes and rants about things, and I've been building up a list of topics and things that. I would like to turn into shows and I'm trying to think of who in my friend group and my network would be good people to talk to and to have them on and just have conversations about some of these topics and just kind of see where they go. And I, I struggled with names for that podcast for a while and I did sort of settle on, I want to call that fake smart. So I have the, the bare bones of the show there and I have a few topics and I thought maybe I would share a couple of topics just so you know the kinds of things that I'm thinking about. I have no idea what order or how I might do it, but I'm trying to capture one new idea every day. So when I see somebody do something crazy or I read something or I have a funny idea or something comes up in a conversation and I think, yeah, that'd be interesting to explore that, then I try and write it down. So here's one from today just to give you a little bit of an idea. So I was talking to a friend and we were talking about new build homes in the UK and we were talking about how all of the new builds seem to lack the personality that the older Victorian homes have and everyone here seems to love Victorian homes and no one understands why people don't just build more Victorian style houses. And then so I went off totally overboard and said, well, yeah, it'd be really cool. Why doesn't the government just step in and say, look, if you're going to build 5,000 homes, then you have to build them in this style because everybody likes the style. And even the Victorian homes, some of them were tiny, some of them were medium, and some of them were quite large. So you could specify size ranges and you say, if you build 5,000 homes, you have to build a certain percentage of each size. And then that caters for new buyers and maybe people who were small families and people moving up and those sorts of things. And what it would do is it would have a much nicer aesthetic instead of a bunch of tiny little boxes that people can't even live in. I mean, there was a story a few years ago about a building company who built an entire sort of subdivision of homes and the stairwells were so narrow that you couldn't even get furniture up the stairs. So when people went to move in, they literally had to take the windows out of the upstairs floors and then try and force the furniture through the windows. And I'm not even joking. And it just seems like there's this effort to make the smallest, tiniest little place that you possibly can and squeeze as much money out of it as possible. So you're not actually building homes for people, you're building homes to make money. And... That just seems wrong to me. Or on the other side, you've got people who build houses that are six bedroom houses that are one and a half, two million pounds. And no one, you know, most people can't afford that anyway. So 
Anyway, that would be one topic of conversation as an example. Another one that came up was um, someone commented on social media somewhere and they said, you know, they find it funny that 70 and 80 year olds are generally considered unemployable, you know, due to the fact that they are either suffering mental decline or they have a skills mismatch in the workplace, but yet they almost exclusively run the U.S. and, and, you know, so not so much the U.K., but the U.S., particularly Congress and stuff. There's some very, very old people. I think this was U.S. focused, but I thought that was that's a really interesting point. And I have, you know, again, I have some strong views on how I think that should work. I think there should be term limits. I also think there should be maximum ages for anyone in political office. Uh, whether it's an elected position or it's in a in the government, so there should be a, a retirement age, and that's it. Like once you reach that age, that's it. It doesn't matter. You can't, you know, you you can't be part of the decision making process anymore. So those are the types of things I want to talk about. And the reason I call it fake smart is because I know a little bit about everything, but I don't know. I'm not an expert in anything, and. And I just like to basically talk shit about stuff. So I thought that would be a really good name and it might be a bit of fun. So when I was, I tasked myself to create all these videos, I couldn't think of anything else that I wanted to call the channel. And so I just went with that. I think I'm going to change the name because I want to use, I want to use Fake Smart for the podcast and maybe a channel related purely to the podcast where I'll be having discussions. And I was thinking about maybe going back to calling this Life by Misadventure, which I also really, really like. And I think that might be more personal. And it may be, for me, it might feel like a better name for this channel as opposed to just my name. Because again, David Brown is just generic and no one would ever find it. So if anybody out there is watching and anybody sees this video, give me a little bit of feedback. Do you do you think, uh, I don't know, do you think I'm wrong? Do you think, no, put your name on it, dude. Go for it. It's you. It's you out there. Put your name on it. Be proud. Fuck everybody else and don't worry about it. Or do you like this name? Do you think Fake Smart is good? Do you think it's bad? Thumbs up, thumbs down, don't know. Or... Life by Misadventure, which is the one I, which is the one that my gut tells me I want to go with. And I can't, I was going to switch it earlier, but I changed it from something else before. So because of YouTube rules, I can't change it every so often. So I have to wait like two weeks or something. So I'd have another week to go before I can change it. So I don't know if anybody will see this, but if anybody does and you're watching it, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the names. If you hate them all, that's okay. If you like them all, that's okay too. But anyway, yeah, that's what's on my mind today. And I think this all came up because of one of the projects that I'm working on that I can't talk about yet. We're in the process of of going through a branding exercise where we're trying to come up with a name for something. And so naming is, is right in the front of my brain right now. So yeah, anyway, that's what's on my mind tonight. And have a think about that. Hopefully there's there are some people out there. If anyone is watching this, please hit the subscribe button just because it would make me feel better more than anything else. And if you if you are actually interested in all the my ramblings and rantings, then hit the bell as well and it'll let you know. But the plan is for it to come out every day. So um, yeah, that's that. And that's me for tonight and we will catch up tomorrow. So have a good evening wherever you are and I'll see you later. Bye bye.